Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Pro here, and in the last episode I covered the basic HTML that you see here. In this episode, we're going to be creating style.css. So if you're on Notepad++ or any other uh, multiple tab thing, go ahead and create a new tab now. If you're on the regular Notepad then, or any other text editor, you might want to do a new window if it does not support tabs. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to type body, and we're going to save it as style.css. Now, we're going to do an opening bracket. There's that symbol there. And then two lines down, we're going to close the bracket. And in between that, we're going to change... We're going to change the background color. Background, and then colon, as you can see. Background, colon. And then we're going to do number... C, or wait, let's do EEE. -E -E, and then semicolon. It's very important that you have lowercase and... I think lowercase, I don't know. You might be able to do it with capitals. I usually just use lowercases. Basically, this is hexadecimal so uh, you can do ff for 255 red another f okay here I'll show I'll go ahead and make this a little bit easier to explain one one two two three three the first two digits are the values of the red color and how that works is you have anywhere between zero zero to ff ff being 255 zero zero being zero and anything in between you can do 9a oops not 9z 9F, F9, FA, you can do all that. But we're going to use uh, E, E, E. If you just do 1, 2, and 3, then it copies the previous one. So it's basically setting red to E, E, green to E, E, and blue to E, E. So everything's going to be somewhat gray. So again, remember to close that off in the semicolon. Refresh the page here, and it's slightly darker. That's exactly what we want. Because we're going to have a white uh, DIV container, which um, basically a DIV is something that holds content and that you can stylize. So on our style.css, we're going to type uh, underneath the body, uh, underneath the closing bracket, we're going to type dot content. And then in between the brackets, like we did on the body, but this time we're going to type width. 1000 pixels or 1000 px and then semicolon. And then we're going to do padding 5 px, 5 pixels in padding. Now we're going to do background white or you can do number fff or fffff. So next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to give it a border. Border solid 1px number 999. <coughs> And what that's going to do is it's going to give it a slightly darker uh, border. It's going to make it look kind of fancy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and save that really quick. And now what we're going to be doing is centering it. So if you want to center the DIV to the middle of the page, you do margin, zero, auto, like that. And save. Now, of course, when you refresh, there's nothing going to be here because we don't have it in our HTML file. So we're going to go back to our HTML file. We're going to do DIV class equals, and between quotes, content, and then uh, and the right arrow, left arrow, right arrow, you know how that works by now. But we're not done yet, so we're going to go about two lines down, and we're going to do second div. Again, if, you, if you're confused by the word second, um, I explained in the first episode that I refer to the slash as second, representing the ending of something. Uh, before we go ahead and refresh the page, we are also going to give it a height. Height, just as a quick test to see how it looks. 480 pixels high. And there you go. And the border looks a little bit dark. So let's try giving it a CCC instead of a 909. That's much better. I like that. So now we can go ahead and remove the height. You'll see why I do the height thing here uh, and why I refresh. It's like a tiny box. That's because there's no content in it. Now, if you look at the top here, you see how it's not properly uh, aligned. There's some space above it. If you want to remove this, all you have to do is do margin in the body uh, section. Margin, 0 px. Padding, 0 px. You do that, and it, uh, it gets rid of any padding and margining. Which makes everything a lot easier. Next, we're going to go to our index.html. And I'm going to be adding some content to show you how it looks really quick.
as you can see, there's our main page. So as you the the, the padding 5px it pushes it right and down five pixels. If you wanted to separate that, you can do where is it? Here we go. You can do the padding five pixels and then nine pixels, and you can just kind of play around with those and see what it does. The second one is pushing it right. The first one is pushing it down. So if you do 15 pixels you'll see that it gets pushed down a lot farther. I usually just kind of leave it at 5 pixels, because it's a pretty nice spacing. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and I hope this helped you all. Please leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and if it helped you, it'd be cool if you shared it and stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching.